Okay, here we are at the end of the pathway here. And all we have to do <clears throat> is get our buffs on and chuck in the voodoo doll. Wish us luck, guys. Wish us luck. Ah! And here it comes. Hopefully from the left. Yes, it is. Alright, so I'm thinking the boomstick uh, while we're getting rid of the hungries. And then swap to the Phoenix Blaster. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think the boomstick's a bit better for the hungries at the start. Hungries? Is that what they're called? Yeah, hungries. Um, so yeah. But I'll swap to the Phoenix Blaster very soon. Come on. Oh wow, it's hard to get them. <laughs> Uh, boomstick, inaccurate. Alright, swapping. I don't know, what's better? It's hard to tell. Okay, I'm getting rid of a few of them. Now, I think the eyeballs take more damage than the mouth does. Although, I'm pretty sure the eyeball takes more. Okay, we're doing okay. I'll put up some campfires along here to keep our health buffed up. And this is why I didn't go for max health. I didn't think it was going to be too much of an issue. Um, if you're wondering why they're all glowing red, I think I picked up a danger sense potion or something like that. So yeah, all the guides back already, which means we can farm another wall of flesh straight away. Awesome. I think the Phoenix Blast is better. It's got a higher base damage. Come on, Clockwork Assault Rifle. Oh, I hope we get it. Oh my gosh, we're in hard mode. Oh, Gavin, this is this is crazy. No, I don't think we got it. We got a sorcerer emblem, which is okay. It's all right. It's not, you know, it's not really what we wanted. But I mean, I, I kind of want to keep doing this until we get the clockwork rifle, the assault rifle, because it is just amazing. Um. So, we've got a second guide. I don't think I used too many bullets then. No, I think we're alright still, so I reckon we'll go back and do a second one. Alrighty guys, here we are back on the surface, just after we've defeated the Wall of Flesh. And yes, we're doing another Gavin episode. Thank you so much for all the support. Oh my gosh, I asked for such a small amount of likes. Well, it's kind of huge actually, and you guys always go crazy and do more. I love it. So, let's get straight into it. The first thing I'm going to do is actually spread some halo around. And, oh, let's grab, oh no, it's pretty expensive. Um, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, spread some halo around early. And the reason for that is, where can I put halo? <laughs> Why aren't you going down, halo? Did I put some in? Did you plant it in there? What, have I, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Oh, there's some. Oh, there's some more. Okay, this is working. How do I just put it there? Okay. There we go. Um, I'm going to actually spread some halo around the world early. And the reason for that is... Can you plant it in there? No. no. I don't know. What? Can you... I don't know. Anyway, that'll, that'll still work. There we go. There's a bit of halo. And I'm actually going to... I won't do it on camera. I'm just going to quickly cruise down to the jungle and halo around the outside of that. I've since learned that spreading a bit of halo is a super quick way to, as you can see here, uh, just stop the spread of uh, corruption on your world or crimson or whatever is going on there. Hey guys, just before we move on to, yeah, fight the wall of flesh again, I'm actually spending a bit of time just collecting up some more voodoo dolls. Um, uh, on my way down here, I had to go through a hard mode crimson, and oh my god, it was so hard. Um, the boomstick doesn't really do enough damage anymore, and the phoenix blaster was okay. Um, it was alright. So, I think the clockwork assault rifle is going to be a necessity, um, to get around hard mode. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to chill out here for a bit, do a bit of farming, uh, it'll give me a chance to mine some more blocks and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of fun. I'll see you soon.
Okay, let's see what we got this time. Ooh, another Poon Hammer. Ooh, a Ranger Emblem. Nice. I think that can go straight on, guys. 15% increased damage. Aha! We finally got it! The Warrior Emblem. Oh, that's so good, and it was my last doll, too, so, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's really good. That's really, really good. So, we can finally make our way back to the surface, and, yeah, sort of, oh, gee, the guide's been respawning so quick, too, it's awesome. Um, we can make our way back to the surface and do a bit of crafting now, which is so awesome. I think I've fought like, oh, at least 10 walls of flesh. It's been crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you up at the surface for some crafting. Okay guys, here we are back at base and you can see the hallows started to spread nicely, which is cool. So it'll stop any yucky uh, crimson coming here. And I fought quite a few walls of fleshes. <laughs> oh gosh. So we got tons of the sorcerer emblems. So I've got a warrior, a ranger and... Uh, yeah. What about Warrior, Ranger, Sorcerer? So we can make the... I think it's... Is it the Avenger Emblem? I know they go together. Yeah, that's it. Cool. So 12% more damage plus our Ranger Emblem. So that's really, really cool. Now if we can find the Goblin, because I earned quite a bit of cash fighting all those walls of fleshes. So let's see what... Pardon me. What we can actually get. Ooh, that's actually not bad. I'll put that aside just for a moment. Okay, well this is expensive to reforge. 12, to defense. Oh, no way, that's awesome. Okay, that's, they're actually two pretty good modifiers straight away. Uh, so, need make room for that. Is it finally time for the panic necklace to go? Or maybe the cloud in a bottle? I probably don't need it because I've got rocket boots, you know. So there we go. So that's put my clockwork up to 30. And my Phoenix Plus... Oh my gosh, I haven't even reforged the Phoenix... The Assault Rifle. Oh, rapid. Nah, I think you can do better than that. Nah, powerful? Mm. No, Agile. You can normally tell by the money amount. So... That's actually pretty good. I think we can do better still. And I've still got 70 gold, so we'll try a few more times. Hasty. Oh, no, it doesn't actually... no damage. Oh, demonic. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Happy with that. So we're up to 35 damage with three, three attacks as well. That is fantastic. Okay, welcome back. So, I was thinking about the next logical step, and... I thought it would be a good idea to upgrade our armor. Now that we've got the Pwn Hammer, we can go and smash some Crimson Altars. So we're all geared up, we've got our new accessories. Um, I think the next step is to upgrade our armor and pickaxes. So I'm going to make my way to the Crimson and uh, let's smash some altars. <laughs> okay, looking for altars to smash. Um, I'm thinking to get a good amount of ore in the world, what I'm going to aim for is nine altars. And what that does is give us three lots of each type of ore. So, you know, it's, it's always a balance. Like, obviously the more altars you smash, the more, um, I think it spreads crimson and halo in your world. But, you know, if you try and do less... Ooh, palladium. That's cool. Palladium. Hmm. I don't normally get palladium. Ah, uh, yeah, but the more ulties you smash, the the easier you're going to find everything. A ritual come, and that must mean this is a titanium world? Titanium? We'll soon find out. Yeah, titanium. Cool. Okay, so different ore types, which is kind of cool. Alright, so that's three, four, five. Alright, we need some more. 
Come on, alters. Uh oh. Oh goodness, I almost killed myself. Ah, so many mobs. These evil wraith. Are they wraith? Ugh. The bane of the AFK farm. The wraith. <laughs> oh gosh. There's another crimson heart, but I don't really need to smash that. Oh, there's some, uh. I don't know what it is. What is it? I can't mine it. Ah! What am I gonna do? Do I need the molten pick? Oh my gosh. Did I just make a fail? No oh dear. Oh well, I can still smash, smash altars. Okay, I think I'm up to five. Any more? No. Oh my gosh, we're taking such a beating. We need to upgrade our armor. And the cool thing is too, uh, because we're in a crimson world, we can make icor bullets, which uh, is going to be super useful. And obviously I need to upgrade my pick as well. So have I got to, oh, I don't know. Hold on, hellstone, yeah. I think I know what I'm doing, I think. Alright, heavy, uh, I might see if I can reforge that quickly because the minus speed is annoying. That shouldn't cost too much, yeah. Light, oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. Titanium, oh, should I do extras? Should I do extras? So tempting. Yeah, it'll speed things up. I can always get a Clentaminator later. Clentaminator later. That'll do though. Okay, now what I wanna do is, basically we're just gonna have a Spelunker and make our way down our elevator and see what we can find. And this is the only way to look for hard mode ores in my opinion. So you just quaff your Spelunker potions that you've hopefully been saving up. And whoa, I think that's some there. Is that, is that palladium? Yeah, beautiful. Okay guys, so I'm back from mining fun and it's time to craft the rest of our stuff and hopefully I've got enough this time um, to make the armor. I'm not too interested in the pickaxe because yeah, I don't think there's any other pick requirements that I need. So let's make the titanium set. And I know I haven't had the palladium for long, but it just helped me stay alive, alive while I was mining. No, it looks like I'm short again. I think you need 13. Oh my gosh, I'm just short. <laughs> I need eight more titanium ore. <laughs> okay, I'll be back soon. Alrighty, oh my gosh, I think I'm right now. I found a little pocket of it, so let's see. Yes, I can make the helmet. Oh my gosh, I would have cried in real life if I'd made the wrong thing. So that's 25 defense. And this is 36, oh my gosh. That's a good upgrade. And become immune after striking an enemy. That's actually, that's a pretty good skill. I wanna, does it work on bunny? No. Does it work on lightning bug? Yes, it does. Shadow dodge. Oh, I remember this. This is a good skill. So you can literally just run into an enemy and I'm pretty sure you just dodge the attack. Like, like the name implies, I suppose. Where's a mob? I wanna run into a mob. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I shoot them. Okay, I've got shadow dodge on. Ah, and you even get a couple of seconds of invulnerability. So you dodge an attack. But it doesn't seem to always... Oh, it has a cooldown, I'm pretty sure. I think I read that on the wiki. It has about a 20 second cooldown. Otherwise, it'd be a bit OP for events, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Okay, now, I think I've been collecting a bit of Icor, and I think if we visit the arms dealer, we should be able to buy bullet casings. And I think we can make... Might have to go to the anvil for this. Uh, we should be able to make Icor bullets, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. So you need... 50 musket balls and one icor. Is that all you need? That's amazing. Wow. That's so good. Look at the damage they do, guys. <gasps> I want to fight a mech boss. Oh my gosh. I need some potions. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's put them in our hot bar anyway. Okay guys, thanks as always for watching another episode of Gavin the Gunslinger. With that said, it is time for some shoutouts here. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's high voice time because a lot of the requests have asked for high voices. So, let's see how we go here. So, the first one is from Thunder Gem Rules and, oh, I think it's a Worms reference. They've asked me to say, We Worms shall take all <laughs> and I used to love playing Worms. It's a pretty fun game. It's uh, it's really cool. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got Galaxy Prince has asked me to talk like a child and say, "No, oh, I like cookies and they taste even better with milk. Yum, yum, yum." <laughs> Uh, we've got Spy Crab has asked me to say, I like turtles! <laughs> Which is really cool. There's a cool film clip of that. If you haven't seen it, just uh, YouTube it. Uh, we've got King Slime has asked me to say, Hog Riders! Which I think is a Clash of Clans reference. Um, and I've got, ooh, it's, it's Rixki? It's R-X-K-Z-E. Rixz. Has asked me to say in nerd voice, nerd voice, what is nerds? Oh. <laughs> nerd is, is that is that kind of nerd? <laughs> Super swaggy, soggy sandwiches. He's asked me to say that lots of times fast, but I think I'm going to wreck my voice if I talk like that for too long. <laughs> oh gosh, thanks as always guys for watching and always doing the shout outs. Um, you know, keep them coming if you don't get yours drawn out straight away. I mean, you know, just put another one in the next day and you've got to be in it to win it as always. Um, leave a like for this video if you've enjoyed it and you want to keep seeing more Gavin content before 1.3 comes out. It's only like three days away. Get excited, guys. I've, I've got food. I've got drinks. I am ready for it to re for it to be released and like spend all day playing it. It's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, keep those comments coming. What do you want to see next in the Gavin the Gunslinger series? Um, once we've got some more life crystals, I think we're ready to fight mech bosses, especially now we've got Icor bullets. So that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. I think Skeletron Prime would be a good first target too, once we've got an arena up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Join our happy little crew here, and you get cookies on arrival. How good is that? Alright guys, as always, stay happy. That's the most important thing. Thanks for being so awesome to each other in the comments. It's really awesome to see. I love coming on here each day. And uh, yeah, stay happy, and I'll see you next time. Sabdu, signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!